All right, here we are at another video tour of our Veranda Tritune rental fleet. These, this is the 2021 Veranda Vista 22RC Tritune rental fleet. These are all powered with 175 horsepower Yamaha VMAX super high output four stroke outboard motor. No trailers included with any of these, but we can either arrange to have one of these transported to wherever it is that you're looking to have it transported to, or we can get you a new trailer at our cost. Be happy to make those arrangements for you. These are all going to be running uh, between about 26 and 29 miles per hour. Uh, I believe uh, of the ones we've water tested so far, uh, we were seeing 27 miles an hour on the low end and I think 29 miles an hour on the high end. Um, these are all tritunes. They're all equipped with three 25 inch diameter pontoons, three inch lifting strakes on the center pontoon, and all are going to have AM, FM, Bluetooth, stereo with four speakers, dual USB power outlets, of course, low maintenance vinyl flooring, seven foot bimini top. Mooring covers included. These also have a heavy duty ski tow bar, tilt steering wheel with U-Flex hydraulic steering. All have essentially the exact same layout. Uh, that's a center walkthrough layout, three entry gates, courtesy light, four step swim boarding ladder. Um, so the model on this is, again, it's a Veranda Vista 22RC Tritune. Um, these all come in about 24 feet four inch LOA, eight and a half feet wide and 2,600 pounds dry rate. They're dry weight, they're all rated for 13 people and they all have a full aluminum deck. So they're very well built. We're gonna do our um, our model walkthrough tour. We're gonna start right here on the, long, on, along the dock, go all the way down to the end here. So this, this video tour is gonna feature units 14, 11, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10, and 1. And then, of course, for more information on all of these, the current asking prices, prices for each, questions, anything like that, you're going to want to go over to our website. Now, for your convenience, down in the video description, there's going to be a direct link to our website. It's going to actually, that direct link is going to take you to the listing page for this group of, um, of these Veranda Tritons. Now, once you make it there, you're gonna see the current asking price, you're gonna see the engine hours for each. Um, you're gonna have all of our contact information. You'll be able to reach out to us by phone, by text, or by email. We do not um, monitor the YouTube comment page. So if you do have any questions about any of these, if you're seriously interested in any of these, all you gotta do is, again, that video, uh, that down in the video description, there's gonna be a link there for your convenience to take you right to the listing page. Uh, if you're watching this on another device where you cannot, uh, get that video description to um uh to, to show our website address is www.yournewboat.com when you make it there look for the find your new boat button in the top left hand corner and that's going to load all of our inventory and order price so all you got to do is scroll down to get to the 2021 veranda vista 22 rc tritune rental fleet you'll see uh, you'll see the asking price right there you're going to see some basic specs um and click any of those so you're also going to see our phone number uh, link to contact us by email um, and then of course another link where you're going to be able to click in and, and see more info on all of these um, at the website you're also going to have a link back to the youtube video tours uh, there's going to be multiple youtube video tours uh, for this fleet so all right so we're going to start um, on this video tour we're starting with unit number 14 Current engine hours on unit number 14 are 582 engine hours. I've actually got the engine running on this one. Um, we had a little bit of a low battery on this one, so we, uh, we're letting that engine run. I'll, I'll probably shut it off as we're walking through this one. Uh, we're just recharging that battery. And also, I'll show you why that, that battery charger, um, or the battery did uh, lose its power. Uh, but now the purpose of our video tour is going to be to show you all the wear and tear on these. This is going to be the, the essentially the difference in these models is going to be the engine hours and the wear and tear on each. Otherwise, um, they're, they're essentially identical models, identical layouts, color schemes, um, all powered the same, um, all with the same basic equipment. Uh, there's a few differences in the stereos as we go across, and then I think there's a few differences on some items that, that work on some. 
um, of these models. So, all right, so again, starting here with uh, unit number 14, as you can see we've got some wear on this corner uh, bumper. And this would be a good time while I'm down here to show you this all aluminum deck underneath there. Okay, these, these things are, are, are very um, well built boats, honestly. They are solid, they're rock solid. Those ski tow bars, normally on those Rona Fleet boats, by the time we see them, um, we're putting them up for sale. All those ski tow bars all have a little bit of a, of a sway in them. Uh, and it's likely due to this aluminum deck. All, every one of those uh, ski tow bars are just rock solid. Um, and now we did function test all the navigation lights on these. Um, so um, I think there's only one in this entire row where we have a non-working anchor light. Otherwise, all the navigation lights work. Um, and I think there's only one where the courtesy light didn't work. So we'll, we'll point that out as we go along. So um, again, we've got those uh, the three entry gates. You've got one on the bow uh, there at the stern and then the port side. Go ahead and step off and we do have these all kind of tied together but we're going to try to show you the wear and tear uh now you, you this is going to be typical of all of them we're going to have some dents uh some water stains um some scratches here and there on all this aluminum fencing we're going to uh, look for wear and tear in the upholstery to call your attention to um oh while i was over here let me step off Let's see how this corner bumper looks. Yeah, so this corner bumper looks good. Got a little mark down there on that splash guard. Um, you know, again, that's that's all aluminum there. As far as I'm concerned, that's fairly cosmetic, in my opinion. Let's move on across here. This splash guard had, had a similar thing right down there. Just a little mark on there. How'd that center pontoon look while we were under there? Yeah, everything looks good underneath there. Um, now, when light hits it just right, you're gonna see a little bit of dings here and there on that uh, aluminum fence paneling. Just seeing some water stains in the fencing over here on this side. Got that nice quiet Yamaha V-Max super high output. 175 horsepower Porsche Go Cowboy motor. Just purring along over here. We got a four step swim boarding ladder. Again, those are 25 inch pontoons. That's all three of them. fencing look over here on this side I think our fencing looks pretty good on this side as well maybe a little bit of staining in there a little bit of a little bit of a um, like a ding right in here let me see if that camera can hit it just right a little bit of scratching in there as well okay that's the kind of stuff we're looking for to to, to show you again here's that ski tow bar these things are just rock saw look here we've even got somebody's rope broke but this ski tow bar <laughs> ten a bunch um a little bit of uh, like water staining on that engine cowling everything looks good on there my opinion uh let's keep going along this inside here let's look for some some other stuff on this center railing here Things look pretty good in here. I think I think things look pretty decent in there along along that inside. A few of these others um, got some more slack in those ropes where I can spread those apart more. But we got a big whole row of them, so um, trying to keep those all in a line here. Uh, now all of our all of our seats are are, are stained on these. Uh, again, there are mooring covers with these. So that staining up there on that, that back seat back, those can be a little bit stubborn, but now with the right product, you'll, you'll probably get it to clean up decent, but now it's, it's not all gonna go away. I'll tell you that from experience. Um, these, these seat bases are all snugly fit in here, and, and you do have just about all these, uh, these little straps where you can lift these up. I believe about all of these are torn, and that's just because of how tight that that uh, that is this is actually really sturdy um, this is like a, there's no wood in any of this this is like a uh, oh what do you call this a uh, composite board here uh, of course plastic molded seat bases um, and this is a tight fit It's in this this board's going all the way back over here so you can see where it's been laying on this lip right here um, past rental years 
we've definitely seen where uh, renters have been standing on the seats and those kind of get stretched and, and, and fold down in there. That's not going to happen with this model, not the way these seat bases are. Um, like I said, those are all snug fit. You almost have to get some weight on there just to get them to go all the way down when you do close them. But uh, So all those are going to be the plastic mullet seat bases. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shut this one off. This one's been idling. Again, these are rated for 13. Um, now here at your dash, it's pretty um, uh, plain Jane up here. You've got a dual USB power outlet. You've got a speedometer, tachometer, fuel gauge. Navigation light switch, courtesy light switch, and a functional horn. Uh, cup holders, we got one, two, three, four, and five. Um, I believe that's going to be the same on all of these. We'll, we'll kind of look, be looking at that as we go down the line. We do have uh, that U-Flex hydraulic steering with the tilt steering wheel here at your driver's seat. Um, now our driver's seats are all going to have uh, be reclining uh, with your dual armrest. I'm raising both of these up to just look for some wear and tear on those. You can see some of this, this material has just kind of come out from, from there. That's that's no damage there. You might have a little bit of a of a tear starting right there. Um, let's check our hardware on this one. Yeah, we got over hardware on this one. This is gonna swivel just a little bit. Um, oh, and the reason that oh, and here's the courtesy light. So that's on, that's off. That's a little LED light in there. And again, navigation lights off. Uh, function test on this one. Now this this one does have a different stereo. The other's gonna have a Jensen stereo unit. Um, this is telling us the time right here, and this is why uh, the battery was drained on this. This particular, um, this Boss Audio Stereo Head Unit um, has an integrated clock, and so that's always going to have a drain on your battery. So whoever buys this one, I, I would recommend putting in a, uh, a switch to actually power this all the way off, or a battery switch on your battery where you can kill the uh, the um, the battery all the way, and, this, and it's not going to get drained down. So we do have a... Um, uh, let's see here. We got to turn it on first. Okay, we do have a uh, Bluetooth auxiliary input, AM, FM, stereo. When we get over here to the FM, that's where you hit your band to get into the get into the FM. There's, what, three, three FMs, uh, two AM inputs. So AM, FM, uh, Bluetooth, auxiliary input, stereo. Um, and of course, you hold this to power it off, but you're still going to have that clock there. So again, um, whoever whoever wants number 14 here, either ba add a battery switch or a sh uh, shut off switch for that stereo unit. Um, and we did function test all of our uh, stereo speakers. You can see you've got four of those. Those all pass function test on this one as well. All right, so we kind of showed you our seats up here. Let's kind of get a little bit lower look around looking for some wear and tear on these guys um, your seat backs are going to raise on these seats um, also up here on the bow these have a little hinge where, where you've got some storage underneath that driver's helmet um, that's going to be the same on all of these uh, you've got a fuel water separator filter uh, under this seat right here um, get that. all these are going to have that and on this side, this is going to be your battery. Um, let's see here. We, we have seen a little bit of wear and tear on some of the upholstery and, and these seat corners. These all look good. Um, and that's just from where this is such a snug fit on these. Maybe get a little bit coming out right there on that edge. All right. I think that's about all for unit number 14 here. Going up and down looking for wear and tear. Let's check our Bimini frame. It's good on the port side. Bimini canvas looks good over here on starboard side. Yeah, I think everything looks the way it's supposed to over here as well. All right, um, got maybe a ding or two in this back door panel. No, maybe not. All right, let's move on down the line. Which one's next? Number 11 is going to be next. All right, engine hours on number 11 are going to be 606 engine hours. Um, the highest out of the group is going to be 691. That's going to be unit number three. 
All right, so again, now we're moving over to, uh, again, this is the um, Tritune Rental Fleet, unit number 11. Actually, before I step off of 14, excuse me just a minute, let me back up. Okay, unit number 14 is a 2022 model. Uh, now, it was built in 2021, uh, but essentially when they finished it, it had just passed the uh, the cutoff to be a 2022 model. So, but again, everything else is the same. I believe that is the only one. All the rest of these are, are 2021s. Um, essentially, this is a late model 2021. All right, so now, um, sorry about stepping back there. So now we're moving on to unit number 11. Again, 606 engine hours on unit number 11 here. So we're gonna start up here in the corner here. Here's a look at that little corner bumper plate there. Got a little bit of impact to it. Looks like you got uh, another little bit of impact coming across on your bow here. Um, and then the tip of this pontoon is bent over just a little bit. Step off and, <coughs> excuse me. So again, a little bit of wear up here on this uh, this bow edge. These, these uh, this railing, there's no rub rail here, but this is all aluminum. And I'm telling you, these guys are solid, especially when you combine that with that aluminum deck. Um, don't really need that corner bumper plate that you see on a lot of these typical uh, rental fleet boats, uh, which almost always are uh, wore out. <laughs> so uh, we do have some little quick um, fender uh, clip mounts on all of these. Um, let's let's step back over here. Let's go down this side here. Looking in our fencing here for some wear and tear. Maybe a little bit of rub down here. Now. Obviously, you're going to see the the marina name um, on these as we do our vi uh, video tour. Um, there's also their phone number in there. I will tell you, they're going into their off season. You can call them if you want. They're going to refer you to us. Um, and again, you're going to just want to go to our website to get our contact information. Uh, they're also going to have some limited hours during their off season as well. So if you leave them a message you might not be getting a call back from them especially if it's about the uh, their rental fleet boats here just gonna be referring you to us um that looks like a little bit of wear in there and yeah, maybe a little marker too trying to show you that a little bit of uh, scratches on our corner going around here to this port side our um, swim swim ladder mount is a little bit loose right here and i think that can be fixed by just tightening up some some screws here that's again it's another four step swim boarding ladder uh, again that's a 175 horsepower yamaha v max super high output four stroke outboard motor again which which one we on here number 11 again 606 engine hours rock solid ski tow bar um u flex hydraulic uh, steering, 59 gallon onboard fuel tank. Don't know if I've called your attention to that yet. A few little scratches back here on this corner. Nothing major alarming to me personally. A few little marks on this aluminum. I mean, rail back here. I think I can see a few little dents. Oh, here's a little uh, mark in the vinyl right here. A bit of a tear right there. I can see it. Maybe a few little dents in this uh, aluminum fencing over here on this side. Oh, well, I think we're I think we're in pretty good shape over here on the uh, fence paneling anyway. Maybe a little mark right in there. All right, let's go ahead and step on the interior again. This is unit number eleven. So interior look here then similar standing on those vinyl seats um, not seeing any rips or tears to speak of there's that little compartment down there under your helm a few little scratches on the inside of your fencing over here now these are obviously uh, those typically be, are uh, those little dents and dings are going to be noticeable on both sides checking our bimini framing port side we look like we're in good shape oh we got a little bit of a tear in our canvas here um, at a minimum you're going to want to put a patch over that to keep that from becoming larger 
Last of our Bimini canvas appears to be in good shape. Framing over here on your starboard side looks to be in good shape as well. Maybe a little, little mark right there, a little scratch right there. All right, driver's seat. Again, we've kind of got this a bit of loose material down here where these, uh, the seat bottom and the seat back go together. Armrests look to be in good shape on this one. Um, now here's that Jensen. This is going to be the typical um, stereo on the rest of these. This is uh, again, this is a Jensen AM FM um, Bluetooth. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, we've got the NOAA weather band. So this is going to give you weather alerts if you're out. A lot of times these will. Here we are. So you hear that's that's the NOAA weather radio. It's going to alert you for thunderstorms and things like things of that nature. Um, so then there's your Bluetooth auxiliary input. So again, AM, FM, uh, NOAA weather band Bluetooth auxiliary input stereo with four speakers. So uh, we did function test these. All four speakers all worked on this one as well. Tilt steering wheel here at your driver's helm. We're gonna have that same dual USB power outlet, speedometer, tachometer, fuel gauge, uh, nav lights, courtesy light, and your functional horn. One, two, cup holders there. There's number three. And here's number four and five. All right. Boy, these are all gonna start running together for me, so forgive me if I uh, lose lose where I was at. Um, driver's seat, we look good as far as wear and tear goes. Uh, we already checked the canvas on this one. Rear seat's here. Let's see. Let me take my fingers in here and raise these rear seats. There were some of these that did have some tears kind of on the corners here. There's that fuel water separator in there. A little bit of wear right in there. Can see too what's kind of rubbing in here this is this is just from from being a tight fit a little bit of wear on your stitching yeah we got a little bit a little bit too right here this your vinyl right there again that's just from it being kind of a tight squeeze in there okay, close that one down yeah everything looks good there so got a pretty good little that little scratch or stain right there on that fence paneling. Maybe a few little dings in there. There's a four-step swim boarding ladder. And I think that's gonna do it for this one. So again, that's that's uh, unit number 11. Uh, again, 606 engine hours on that one. All right, moving on down. Next up, we got unit number four. Unit number four is coming in at 625 engine hours. Uh, again, all the same power, all the same equipment. Um, let's start back here in this corner. I can see, I can see some scratches in here. Okay. Let's keep going up over here. Let me separate these two guys. Let me get a peek down in there. Be a little bit of staining on some of the the railing there. But your typical wear and tear again, you're gonna have those kind of water spots and a few little scratches and dents and dings here and there. Again, all aluminum. Great option if you're in fresh water. Good option for the coast too. You just gotta paint your pontoons and you know, flush your engines. Um, got got some uh, little impacts to this corner. Maybe a little bit of a of a of a curve on, up here on the tip of this uh, pontoon. You know, these um, these can be bent pretty good and, and still not have any uh, structural effects on the boat. Um, you could even, I've even seen some cracks, some cracks in here near the tip where they've come in and hit a dock. Um, up here way off the water line, that's really not too much of a concern. You can always uh, seal those up or even re-weld those up just to avoid water getting down inside the tune. But these are not to that level. Here's this one also. It's got a pretty good little bend on it. A um, little bit of a crack in a weld right here. But again, you're way up off the water line. You know, you might you might throw some JB weld or something in there just to seal that up. Keep to keep any water from working its way into there. That'd be kind of be the only concern. 
a few little scratches and marks coming around the corner see him on that splash guard right there again these are all 25 inch diameter uh, pontoons there's three tunes three inch lifting strikes on that center pontoon able to pull separate this just a little bit more up here looking on back I think we look pretty good except maybe just behind that driver's seat that might be a little then or ding in there let me see if i can separate them again right in here maybe a little scratch right there at that bimini mount um Let's see, did we already look at this corner? Just a few little scratches is all I'm seeing. A few little scratches maybe on this back paneling as well. All right, I know for sure we started here um, and we looked at this corner here. How's there? Yep, a little bit of a loose swim ladder hardware as well. Ski toe bars is, is, is advertised. Um, again, we're on number four here. All right, let's start checking out the interior here, number four start up here on the front this one also has the five cup holders that's just dirt oh, a bit of a tear right there on that corner it else looks good you got like a scuff on that it looks like a stain it's still looking good up here. As far as the culture goes, again, we got that low maintenance vinyl flooring, all aluminum deck. Get a little bit of a rip right there on that, that vinyl. Rear seats. Still got the strap on some of these. Can lift it up rather easily. Final trim looks good on that side. Let's see how we're doing over here on this side. See, when you don't have that little strap, you just kind of got to bury your hand down there and lift it up. Things look pretty good here. All right. Driver's seat, we got somewhere right over here on your, on your armrest. That's just some, this fabric right there where the front and the backs meet. Got all your hardware there on your driver's seat. Uh, getting ready for 13, all the same up here. Same Jensen head unit, same tilt steering wheel, same dash, functional horn, functional courtesy light. I think it's not until we get to the end where we got one without a working courtesy light. So again, um, unit number four is still looking good. Um, again, 625 engine hours on this one. Checking the frame on our Bimini top. Looking good here. Bimini canvas looking in good shape. All right, over here on your starboard side Bimini frame, we got a little bit of a dent right here. Right here on the driver's side. Okay. Also a little bit right in here. I believe that's it. Okay. These these are the little these little legs right here. This is so that whenever you're treading on this, you have the whole bimini top folded back. You can actually lower that all the way down. And this shorter little mount is going to go right in here where your taller one is, and that's going to keep it up off your seats while you are underway. That's the purpose of those. Uh, everything else on unit number four I think looks pretty good so um, just a just a little bit of a bend in that bimini typical dents and scratches around the exterior and you get a tear on that uh, driver armrest let's see which one's next where's your number at Unit number five is next. Unit number five has 616 engine hours. Again, all the same equipment. And <laughs> I 
let's see here. Let's take another look. We got some wear on our corner. Corner rub, rub rail edge up here. A little bit of marks down there on our splash guard. Some wear and tear up here. All looks pretty typical. You look under, underneath the deck, getting that all aluminum deck down there. Again, you got those three inch lifting strakes on the center center pontoon. Come on around here, let's step off over here on this corner. Get a look at this one. Again, oops, just little, just little uh, scratches, scrapes on this corner. Typical kind of wear and tear. I think I noticed a little ding in there on that corner somewhere. The light hits it just right. Um, stretching these guys apart. Fairly good down here on this side. A few little scratches down in there. And coming over here to our rubber rail edge back here. Kind of just your typical uh, scratches here and there. Rock solid ski tow bar. Over here to this side. Little scratches right in there. We can go up there. Let me pause right here, hit this corner real quick. Same kind of looseness on that swim boarding ladder. A few little marks on that, that engine cowling. Um, another look up this edge a few little scratches down there oh we got a little dent up here on our port side rail edge right in there that light hits it just right I might need to get the other right see so got a little scratch and an indent right in there. Try to move that camera angle around so you can see that. Uh, another few little scratches down here. All right. That's a pretty good assessment of exterior number five. Let's check out our interior here. Good there. Same five cup holders. Same, just kind of typical staining on our vinyl. Looking for those rips, tears, and scratches. Not seeing a whole lot. There's some uh, scratches on the interior here of that fencing. Rear seat sections. These guys up. dirt and again some of this some of the staining on this vinyl will be stubborn so yes it will clean better than it is now but again you're not going to get all of it out if you're being realistic um, again these up here on the back seat backs those are probably the most stubborn <laughs> Wise, um, as far as our lounge seats go, all those look good. How's our driver's seat here? Seat arms look good. It's that same kind of extra fabric down there. Some, uh, and again, some of this staining up on this uh, driver's seat is is not going to come clean. I tell you, uh, got all your driver's seat hardware there. Uh, Bimini frame looks good over here on this side. Canvas looks to be in good shape. Oh, oh, we got a uh, got a zipper over here coming apart. I wonder if that will go back together. This probably won't make for great video. I better try that on video. But we got a zipper that's just come apart here. Um. That one might need a new zipper on there. Uh, Bimini frame on this side looks to be in good shape. 
Um, the rest of the canvas looks to be in good shape. So again, um, functional horn on this one. There's your working courtesy light. We did uh, function test all the nav lights on this one. Um, and this, this Jensen unit, you can see this getting a little bit cloudy here. You turn it on and see if we can see it. Yep, you can still see that display. So that one did uh, function test. All the speakers work just fine on it as well. So again, this is unit number five. 616 engine hours here on unit number five. Now, if you do take time to go over to our website and look at the listing page for this, you're going to be able to see all those engine hours, you know, all, all written so you know exactly which one has what. All right, which, which number's next over here? Working our way on down the line, we got unit number six is going to be next. Unit number six is going to have 559 engine hours. All right, let's go ahead and start over here on our fencing before we transfer over. Take a look at, uh, we'll try to finish up at this corner here so you can get a better look at those marks up there. Uh, looking at the fencing here, there's a little bit of a dent or ding right in there. Uh, got a little bit of wear on that splash guard as well. And we got some some scratches and dents in our veranda logo back over here on this port side. Pause right there so you can take a look at that. And your typical kind of scratches along this corner edge. Some boarding liner is nice and tight on this one. Ito bar as advertised. There's a 175 horsepower Yamaha V Max Super I output four stroke outboard motor with U Flex hydraulic steering and tilt steering wheel. 59 gallon fuel tank on board. How's our fencing looking back here? Yeah, I'm dropping back down below the edge again. You kind of your typical little scratches going around that aluminum edge. Same solid aluminum decking. And if we can go along this edge right here. A few little scuffs up here in your uh, vinyl. And a few little scratches down in here. down there on that pontoon and then up here on this corner is where we're gonna have some more wear and tear again this one's kind of scratched up a little bit on the top of that edge uh, a few little marks down there on that splash guard uh, a little bit of wear up here on this front pontoon going across the bow looks pretty good again this is unit number six of the 2021 Veranda Vista 22RC Tri-Tune Rental Fleet for sale here. Beautiful fresh waters in Norris Lake, Tennessee. So yeah, all right, I'm pretty satisfied with the exterior. Let's step on over our gate here. Check out our vinyl. I can see a little bit of tear in this vinyl right here. Same five cup holders. And some staining on these seats. Uh, this, is a, this is a pretty heavy due to vinyl on this one. This made it through the 21, 22, and 23 rental season. And you see we get a little bit of wear right here. And again, this is related to that seat base just being a really tight, tight squeeze right there. Almost looks almost looks to be aluminum through there. I doubt it is. It's probably a some kind of composite or plastic. Um, yeah, a little bit of wear on this vinyl here as well on that inside the edge and, and this edge. Checking across the way here. We've still got a little strap on this seat. Gotta be careful with these because as tight as that is, I don't want to get another ripped 
one. All right, things look good here. You see, kind of where you just get some, you get some uh, real wear down there, just because of how tight that is. All right. Now we got another rip here on our driver armrest. Now oh, it's a pretty good one right there. Might want to at least tape that or try to redo that foam so that you don't have that little arm right there, metal arm right there poking out. But still got that, that extra material down there at your at your edges. Otherwise you got all the seat hardware here. A little bit of stretch in your seams right here on your driver's seat base. Same tilt steering. Functional horn, same same dash here, speedometer, tachometer, fuel gauge, nav lights, courtesy light switch, dual USB outlet, five cup holders, and again, here's that Jensen AM FM Bluetooth NOAA auxiliary input stereo Bye. with four speakers, functional courtesy light. There's those speakers. All right, Bimini frame. Looking good. Canvas. A little bit of wear right in there. Otherwise, canvas is looking good. And the nav lights, when we function tested these, our anchor light was not working on this one right here. Bimini frame looks good on that starboard side. So anchor light not working on this one. Uh, your nav lights, your, your uh, your green, your red, port, and starboard running lights did function test just fine. Just the anchor light on this one. So, she will leave that down. So again, number six here, non-working anchor light. All right, let's check out what's next. I believe this is number nine coming up next. And number nine has 624 engine hours. Everything else is gonna be all the same. All right, we'll start up here on this this bow. See that little ding on your tip of that pontoon? You get a little mark up there on that bow edge, some scratches on this cornering. Uh, we're seeing a lot of that on these. Uh, maybe a little ding somewhere in that fencing right there. All right, going back on the sides. Got like some bungee ties up here so I can stretch these out a little bit more as we're going across. There's two little dings showing up right over there. Um, we got another good mark coming up over here by the veranda logo. We kind of got a scratch on the top end um, Going down just a little ways Okay, and then we've got some marks uh, Down below it on this level right here. We're gonna have some dents and dings in here Try to Get you another view of that well, that light's starting to come in low on the off the bow of these. Take like a little bit of wear down here on the uh, tune. That's probably transferred over from like a fender. Um, actually, maybe it looks looks like some grease on there. Not seeing any dents or scratches on there, so I think you're good there. You do have another little scratch back here on this this fence uh, corner, and dropping down, showing you your kind of rub rail going around uh, again a little bit of loose hardware on the swim ladder back here a little bit of mark in your uh, vinyl flooring back here it's a fencing look coming across here ski tow bar as advertised all right here's this edge right here going around the corner looking good purpose of our video here is to show you the wear and tear on each of those sorry about the camera bump there show you the wear and tear on each of those so you can make an informed decision without having to, to travel a distance uh, now with there being several of these available they're also going to be welcome to come down and look at them in person as well but Hopefully, with, with our video tours, you can decide if you're interested in any of them at all or narrow your options down. 
if you get it narrowed down to one or two and then you want to come down and see them in person a little scratch up here on the front and a few more marks up here on this bow edge and then over here this is where we started coming in on the other side that bow edge all right now hopping up above the deck up over our bow gate there are we looking up at that one looks good same five cup holders it looks pretty good on our front couches other than that same typical stain that we're seeing throughout uh, a few little scratches here on the interior uh, maybe a few on the vinyl over here on this uh, section Looking at these two corners here. A little bit of a tear right here on this corner edge. Fine down there. A little bit of stretching in that material around that cup holder. Final looking good there. Let's see if we can get the one open down here by a battery. Felt something over here on this one right there, similar, similar thing on that corner right there. That one on down. All right, how's the driver's seat looking on this one? This one, this one is missing uh, the seat hardware that's going to allow this to swivel. This is missing a lever right here. Um, not a big deal, but a little lever is going to go here, and then that's going to allow you uh, to actually kind of. Um, lever this pin out um so now you could also do that probably with a with the tool vice grips or something but when that pin comes out that's going to allow this to swivel um it's also going to slide forward and back so our vinyl on it looks to be in good shape same tilt steering here there's that jensen am fm Bluetooth, auxiliary input, NOAA weather radio, four speakers, function test just fine on this one as well. Courtesy light, functional. Uh, again, we've already uh, function tested the navigation lights and functional horn. Same instrumentation up here on your dash. How's our Bimini frame look on this one? Frame's looking good. Canvas. Okay, it's got some uh, dirt on there in a few places, but I'm not seeing any rips or tears. Maybe a well, we got a little bit of wear over here on your starboard side. A little bit of a little bit of a ding right there. Um, your other other pieces look just fine. All right, what's next? Next up is number 10. Number 10 has 671 engine hours. Again, everything else is all the same except for our wear and tear. So let's start having a look here on number 10. We got some um, marks on our corner bumper, a little bit on this tip of the uh, this port side tune. A few little marks up there on that aluminum fencing on the bow will finish up there it's going down this side here it's looking for some wear and tear I think, I think I spotted a mark one right in here Might hits it just right a little scratch down there on that tune maybe a scratch on that aluminum railing right there spots do show on this black aluminum fencing especially when you when it's the smooth uh, fencing without any of the um, ripples in there that they'll sometimes do from the factory that can be cleaned in my opinion 
I don't think it's worthwhile, just in my opinion. It's all aluminum. Um, but yeah, if you want it to look pretty, yeah, you can you can you can get in there and buff that. Probably put some product on there, keep those water spots from reappearing. But um, you, you'll have to kind of continue doing it. Uh, a little bit of loose um, swim ladder bracket here. Maybe a little, a little maybe a mark right there on that pontoon. Ski tow bar still rock solid. A little mark up here on this fencing. I noticed a little indent or two. Yep, there it is. See some of these, the light just has to hit it just right for it to show. We can stretch this corner out. Ugh, another little scratch is back here in this corner. Actually, this corner's got a little, a few marks on it. Seen a, we've seen a few now that's had some, some good scratches on that aluminum fencing. And typical marks around your rub rail there. Again, 25 inch diameter pontoons. Now let's keep this going up. All this edge job. Oops, sorry about the camera bump there. Maybe a little, a few little marks down in there. Oh, uh, and something's rubbed on this guy right here. It's actually a little bit of a dock rash. Um, which is, I guess, more common on fiberglass boats. Uh, but see how this something's kind of rubbed against this, gone up and down. Uh, that is, is from like an edge or something at a dock. That's why they call it dock rash. Typically, it's going to damage gel coat on fiberglass boats. But it's it's done a little bit here on this aluminum fencing on this one. Um, almost is disguised a little bit with the uh, with the water spots on there. And here's a little dent right there in that graphic. Try to show you that. Again, you can call that number if you want. Like I said, they are in their winter hours. Um, they're going to refer you to us as far as questions about um, Tritune. And again, all of our contact information you're going to find over our website, www.yournewboat.com. Don't forget. Down in the video description, there's going to be a, um, a direct link to the listing page of this one. It's going to have current asking price, all of those engine hours, as well as all of our contact information. You'll be able to contact us by phone, by text, or by email. Good little mark up here on this corner. That tip of that pontoon's bent. Again, you're well up off the water line right there. So that's, that's purely cosmetic, in my opinion, as well as that little <coughs> gash on that little splash guard. I think I saw a little dent. And, yep, there it is. I think like that light just got to hit it just right. Another one right in here. A few little scratches. A dent or two in this front door panel. And then this is, I believe we kind of started over here on this corner. Let me give you another look over here. Take a look at that center pontoon. And there's that all aluminum deck underneath. Do an echo down there whenever the camera gets dropped down. So again, this is unit number 10. I had to look again, I forgot. We're almost done with this group. We got one more after this one. Again, this is number 10 with 671 engine hours. Checking for wear and tear in our vinyl upholstery. Maybe a little bit of Maybe a little bit of stretching down there, but no. Uh, a little bit of mark on this guy right here. Edges on that one look fine. Again, those, those stains will be stubborn. Yes, it will clean and look better than it does today, but it, it might not be possible to get those seat backs looking like new again. Um, so, this might be a little bit easier to show you. These dents on the inside are going to show on the exterior. I think that's just some, so just some dirt. This, this looks like a little bit more of a scratch. This right here looks like some dirt. Is our upholstery look up here? Oh, we got a loose hinge up here just at this helm hatch. 
that will lift up a little bit of a mark in that vinyl but it needs some uh, hardware looks like they've tried to fix that it needs some hardware there on that little compartment same five cup holders on this one and that one we got some screws kind of coming out of this seat right here glad I lifted that so you could see that all right again this is the interior now uh, we, we did show you the exterior of this but sometimes um, when you see some of these dings on the inside, it might be a little bit of better reflection of the exterior. Right. So up here is looking fine. There's another torn strap on this one. There's where that fuel water separator is under this side. Battery on the other side. Just raising these to make sure there's no rips or tears hiding. This is where we did notice them. I may have, we may have already gotten all the ones that were worn, but oh boy, this one doesn't want to lift. Go. A bit of wear on there. Yeah. A bit of wear right in here. And again, you got those stains up here on those seat backs. Those are stubborn, difficult to make go away. This driver seat base is going to be the same. Um, using the right product and really scrubbing on this, you 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 will improve it. But it will be hard to get this looking brand new again. A little bit of a tear right here on this armrest. Okay. And we do have all of our hardware here. This is that piece I was trying to show you a minute ago. Um, so that allows that piece to kind of come out. We're just going to let it swivel. And put it in like that. And it's going to kind of lock in position. So right there, kind of kick in position. And then dropping that right there is going to let it swivel again. This one right here, when you when you do that one, you're going to be able to slide that whole seat forward or back on a little track. Getting ready for 13, 25 inch diameter pontoons. A um, little bit of wear up here on your helm right here. So console, a lot same instrumentation up here. Now our horn sounds a little funny on this one. Okay, just making you aware. There's your dual USB output. And then we've got a new stereo head unit on this one. This is a Boss Audio stereo system. Let me turn this one on. This is a Boss MGR350B stereo head unit. Tree. So now we do have, uh, let's see here. All particular. Well, there's our mute. All right, so we do have um, your AM, FM. Oh. Okay, so there's your FM, your AM. There's your NOO, NOAA weather band. Asheville, sunny, yes. 78 degrees. Atlanta, mostly sunny. All right, and then that's about your FM. Now, your other options, you got Bluetooth, auxiliary input, and AM, FM. Building on fire on... NOAA weather band stereo. Again, four speakers on this one. And that will power off fully. Same tilt uh, steering wheel, hydraulic steering. Uh, must check our console light right there. And we did function test all the nav lights on this one. Everything worked just fine, as well as all four of those stereo speakers. A little bit of a mark down there on that uh, roto mode plastic sided seat bases. Again, uh, low maintenance vinyl flooring uh, with all aluminum deck. Oh, here's a better look at. That last one we looked at, number nine. Here's a better look at that Bimini frame over there on that starboard side. All right, pulling back to number 10. Looking at Bimini frame over here. Looks good on port side, starboard side. Maybe a little scratch or two. Otherwise, frame looks fine. A little bit of a, a, bit of a rip in that canvas in that corner. Otherwise, otherwise everything else looks good on the canvas end of things. And again, those 
engine hours for unit number 10 were 671 all right last one for today we got unit number one over here we've got 542 engine hours here on unit number one this is one of the lower engine hour units so let's start up here in this same little corner area look at that ropes we could go look at our little corner rub rub going around so see even even one with the lower engine hours you still got those marks up here on this uh corner rub rail a little bit of a dent on that tip of that pontoon some scratches and scrapes along that bow wedge here uh right there i see a little dent right there in that aluminum fencing um splash guard's got a little wear on it as well Looking on down the line here, looking for some other wear and tear. Let's go. Let's kind of follow our same pattern going around the exterior. Looks like maybe a few little scratches down there. It could be just some, some dirt. Maybe a few little marks on that fence paneling. right in here Let's see if we saw any dents right in here there's a little scratch up there behind that veranda logo we I mean, had a little bit better view on the screen there than I did I'm kind of holding the camera over the edge but again here's that little I got, do have a little dent along with that scratch right there and going down and reposition Is that model there's that model name right there the vista 22 rc maybe just a little bit of a dink about midway on that pontoon nothing to really cause any concern similar a little oh, right there and similar kind of loose swim ladder mount four step swim boarding ladder ski tow bar still rock solid and looking at our edge here all right ran out of boats here so we're going to kind of have to hang over here i'm guessing that we need that light behind us going the other way let's go ahead and walk up front we'll kind of hang over the side coming back um, that way we can be done with the exteriors and then we'll zoom back in on the interior before we wrap up. Here's a better look at that, that port side tune. Let me reposition here. How's our front door paneling look coming across? Again, this is unit number one, last one for today. You will find some links to some other video walkthrough tours on some of the other uh, models from this fleet all there at that web listing again for your convenience there's going to be a direct link down in that video description um, if whatever device you are watching this on does not allow you to see that video description you can go right to our website on your on your uh, phone or web browser of your choice the website is yournewboat.com click the find your new boat button it's going to show you all of our inventory and order of price and just keep scrolling down till you get to the 2021 veranda vista 22 rc tritune rental fleet for sale you're going to recognize it i we'll have a photo of one of these actually we've we've taken a um one of the boats and done a full kind of walk through of photographs for representation um of the models and the layouts but then we do have the video tour for for each so that you can see the wear and tear the differences in the wear and tear on these seeing some scratches down there on that paneling there that kind of continues on a little bit let me get to the next spot where i can hang over the edge be right in here there's there's where that little scratch continues so that little scratch on that rub row kind of continues on for Probably a good five, six feet on that side. A 
Looks like a little ding in that aluminum fencing. And let me reposition again. Yeah, we got a few little marks in that aluminum fence paneling too, right there at that veranda logo. Okay, trying to represent these as best as we can. All right, now let's go look at that other corner bumper plate. Again, you're going to want to reach out to us through the website with questions. Once you do make it over there to a listing for this, you're going to be able to contact us by phone, by text, by email. You're going to see all of our contact information. There's the, uh, well, you can't really see where that lifting strake is on the center pontoon. I'll give you a better look at it. There's a good look at that aluminum decking. There's that U-Flex hydraulic steering. Might be a better look at that that little three inch lifting straight on those center pontoons. Again, that's on the inside of um, in between your two outer pontoons. You get the three inch lifting straight on the center tune. And our fencing back here on the back look pretty good. Let's head right back up front and start right here. A little bit of wear on that vinyl section and some wear a good little tear going across the bottom edge of this so again this is actually a real good representation you know you can't always if you're looking for the one with the least amount of wear and tear you're just going to have to take a look at all of them because the wear and tear is not um, always the higher engine hour boat a bit loose fabric right there but see anything wrong with it pull this edge up oh, this one's in the way here there we go good on that one too. So again, it's kind of the typical staining up here along the top edges. That looks like a maybe a rip right there, but it's not. It's just some dirt. Got it. We got a scuff right here on this one. There's two of those four stereo speakers. There's the scratches on the inside of that paneling. A little bit of wear right there on that edge. That's just some dirt. Looks like we got some loose material right there, but everything looks fine. Let's lift this, let's lift this one up. Looking good. Just a little bit of dirt right there. I've discovered a little bit of a trick on getting these to lift up. If you put a little bit of weight on this outer edge right here, it seems to kind of help leverage those seats up. So maybe if I know if I've been doing that from the get-go, I wouldn't have struggled with some of them. And you can do kind of see where it's just a tight squeeze right in there. There's their uh, marine start battery. And again, you got some staining up here. Upholstery looking good. Um, check our driver's seat. Still got some of that loose fabric right there where that seat back and the seat bottom meet up. Uh, your armrests look good. You've got all your seat hardware here. And same uh, hydraulic steel tilt steering wheel right here. Same switches up here. Now, I think, yep, this one, uh, this courtesy light is not working. Um, now, the, and the horn also kind of sounds weak on this guy. It's trying. <laughs> but, uh, and then our stereo display on this one is, it, it powers up. Actually, I can actually see a little bit at the right angle, but it's a little bit hard to see. Now, if you, 
if you know what the controls are, you can probably navigate your way around. But it is a little bit difficult to see that. Uh, speakers all did pass function testing just fine. Um, there's that, another look at that scuff right there. So this one, you know, again, kind of weak horn and non-working courtesy light. All your navigation lights work just fine. Stereo speakers all work just fine. It's just that that head unit um, is, is not very visible. Well, let's just say it's not visible. Uh, but it does function. So if you know the navigation, this one right here is going to go into your different modes. That's Bluetooth mode. That's auxiliary input. And that is FM. Or now it might be AM. And that's going to be FM. Okay. Of course, you've got the, the quick uh, setting to go right into your Bluetooth. So if you're, if you're mostly just using Bluetooth anyway, you're probably going to be able to navigate this just fine because, and there's your power uh, or your volume up and down right there. So same uh, dual USB power outlets right here. Let's check our Bimini frame. Got some marks over here. Is that wear? Yeah. I can't tell if that's wear or dirt. We'll call it some wear just because I can't tell. Um, canvas looks to be in good shape and our frame over here on your port side also looks to be in good shape so um, it looks like somebody had a, a flag on here with a zip tie and that's what that is but that has nothing to do with the boat yep same thing over here we were pl probably flying some kind of a banner and It uh, did not go well for them, but otherwise everything is looking good. Let's see if you lose threads right here. It's just um, the edge on that stitching. Of course, that's after the stitch, so I, I think everything's good to go on this one. So again, uh, we're we're stopping a day here on unit number one, again of the 2021 Veranda Vista 22RC Rental tri tune fleet for sale here on the beautiful fresh waters of north lake tennessee again 542 engine hours on unit number one here so um, again if you do take the time if you're interested in any of these um, please check out our website it's going to have all those engine hours all in one place so you can that way you don't have to be taking notes while you were watching the video tour you can see all the differences in the engine hours um, and then of course all the video tours are here so that you can uh, see the wear and tear for each of these. So in all the available units, you're gonna be able to keep tabs on which ones are available all over at our website, okay? Um, as, as more of them start getting sold, we'll be marking which ones are available on our website. So again, down in that video description, direct link to the listing page. That's gonna have a link back for all the different video tours of each one where you can kind of go in, check out the wear and tear for each of these. Uh, mooring covers are included. Um, and of course, all the equipment you saw today with your Bimini tops, um, all that good stuff. Now we're not gonna be swapping pieces around. Like if there was a, um, I think uh, one of, uh, not one you saw today, but there was a trim piece on one of those courtesy lights, not on uh, one of the other ones that we already have listed. We're not swapping pieces around. Everything's going to stay how they are um, as is. They all, all of these boats are all offered subject to buyer inspection. Um, any offer is going to be contingent on satisfactory water test. We'll make, gladly make them available for a mechanical inspection. Uh, if you want to have somebody do a, um, a compression test um, on the engine. Um, and of course, obviously, a, a sea trial will be offered as well. Um, that's, uh, that's always going to be our recommendation. It's a great way to to tell if there's anything, um, major signs of, of, of the, um, with the engine, you know, the compression test probably going to tell you a whole lot. And, uh, and again, um, now these have all been sitting in the water since 2021, um, or late 2021 for some of them. Um, so you, you do have a little bit of growth on the tunes. Uh, when you clean those pontoons, uh, you might gain a little bit more speed out of them, but as tested, um, they were all running between 27 and, and 29 miles per hour on, on, the, uh, on the top speed of these. Um, all rated for 13 people. And again, full list of uh, features, specifications, 
all that good stuff is at our website again down in the video description there's a direct link now as we start to wrap up here today um, there are going to be two things popping up onto your video screen top left hand corner is going to be a shortcut to go to our uh, our current listings playlist there at our youtube channel so if you don't want to leave youtube and you're trying to see what we have available uh, that's a great option is going to our youtube channel um, and and of course that uh, youtube channel is youtube.com slash your new boat we've got two playlists there one for current listings and one for sold boats uh, top right hand corner is going to be a shortcut to subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't already it's a great way to get notified when new listings come available um, so we're happy to have you as, as a subscriber and that's going to conclude um, today again this is um, part or good uh, bulk of the 2021 veranda vista 22 rc tritune rental fleet all powered by these yamaha v max super high output uh, 175 horsepower four stroke outboard motors again all the equipment and options are all the same just the difference in the wear and tear on each on on uh, the different models so i thank you again for joining us um, again if you haven't already we invite you to, to subscribe to our youtube channel it's a great way to get notified when new inventory comes available all you gotta do is click that link top right hand corner right there to subscribe if you're not already i thank you again for joining us